Hi everyone, my name is Juan Camilo Alcaraz. Today I want to show you a long tutorial based on the creation of the modeling of the Batmobile for the new Lego movie. So like you can see here, uh, this is the model we are going to do. This is completely done in 3ds Max and this long tutorial is focused or is oriented for beginners to intermediate, intermediate uh, artists because all the tools I will going to use during the tutorial are mainly uh, primitive, the use of primitives, the use of splines and a few uh, techniques of editable poly so this is a tutorial that could be followed uh, quite easily for 3ds Max users and for any other uh, software, 3D software, because like I said, there are not uh, complex tools in the creation of this particular model. Okay, so I hope you like this series of tutorials. Please take a look to the shortcuts because in all the tutorial I didn't use the regular buttons for switching uh, between uh, views or for example to enable or disable uh, the shade or the wireframe. So take a look to the shortcuts of the 3ds Max to uh, follow the tutorial easily. Okay guys, I hope you like it and prepare for learning something uh, that I hope will going to be very useful for you. Okay, let's start. Okay, so the first thing I will going to do is uh, create a reference. Right now I don't have uh, a blueprint. I don't have a perfect blueprint for this particular project, but I have a couple of images that maybe uh, will going to be uh, very helpful to have as a um, uh, proportion and thing like that. So I will load them. I will create a map, a bitmap, I will look for this particular reference I found okay, mat Batmobile so let's see, first I will going to find or will going to load uh, an image that shows the Batmobile from the side so for this one I will use this particular image like you can see here, the model is almost complete horizontal is a very good uh, photograph so I will going to use it just as reference but because like you can see here this is not a perfect blueprint okay so this one will going to be helpful I will create my material standard material I will link to my diffuse and I will going to assign to the plane okay so later I will enable to show this particular uh, map in the viewport this is quite important so that like you can see here right now I have a, a plane the size of this plane I have created any particular size because right now I will going to work in proportion but just for having a I don't know a standard size I have created this one meter one meter <coughs> I will going to verify my unit setup right now I have the unit setup in centimeters for this particular toy, if I will going to, to work in this small scale, maybe I will switch or I should switch to millimeters uh, as a, a scene system setup because this will going to give me more precision but because I'm not going to make a, a product design uh, it's more on a sculpture based on the reference I will create a, a bigger object and maybe later I will going to scale at the end I will going to scale uh, to the real size or the or the size that the developer of the video game will going to use okay so I will switch to centimeter to centimeters just to have the the same uh, units <coughs> and this is what I have now you can see here the plane looks uh, the image looks distorted so I have to apply an UV map modifier and I will going to adjust the bitmap fit and I will going to use exactly the same image. This will going to fit exactly like it said. It will going to fit the proportion of the image to the plane. So now I can sorry, I can expand the size of the plane I have here and I have a proportion version of the 
of the image okay so this is what I will going to use right now uh, uh, as reference uh, else than that maybe I can load another set of image but right now because there are not uh, blueprint I don't have to to place perfectly uh, oriented or aligned like in different projects so this is more uh, a reference I will going to use so I will start with this and I will going to use this the rendering view image file this will this will going to allow me to load any particular image let me see for example to have this image as a floating window and I can use this as reference too not inside the scene but as a, a, a floating window so I will going to load this particular one that have a, a lot of good details and it's quite sharpened and I will go into scale a little bit more and I will place I think here is the a right place to do it so I will lose I was going to lose this area here is not a big deal maybe in some cases I will going to move this a little bit more a little bit uh, above the the position but right now just to give you a an image uh, exactly what I'm doing this is what I have 